shown today's daf yomi is Baba Basra daf kuf hey Baba Basra one hundred and five. Today's daf yomi is dedicated for a shmir for the chayolim hatzalah for the shuliim and the Yeshua for Am Yisrael in this east. Sarah, the daf yomi will start with the mission on the bottom of kuf and on the base on the bottom of one hundred and four b. Says the Mishnah, if a person says mida b'chavol ani mocharloch, I'm selling you my field as measured by a string of rope, meaning to say that it's the exact measurement. He says, I'm selling to you exactly measured under those circumstances. And then he says, in chaser and yasser, meaning I'm selling you my field exactly by a rope measured more or less. So the two con- the two statements are contradicting each other. Or if he's, then we say, in, the Misha says, that the last statement, the more or less part of the statement cancels out this part of the statement that says, I'm selling you exactly the field by a measure of rope. But let's say he says the opposite. Let's say he says, in chaser and yasser, mid mid But if he says, "I'm selling to you more or less like this amount as measured by the rope," then batal mid bechavel in chaser in in chaser in yasser. Then, then the last statement, the measurement by the rope, cancels out the chaser of the yasser statement. Then this this is different bananas. This is the position of bananas. Bananas is another position to full slush and achron. We follow the last statement that the person says. And that's how we that's how we're going to rule. So that's the position of Ben Nanas. If a person in, in doing a, a transaction makes two contradictory statements, we follow the last thing that he says. So I'm a Rabbi Abba Bar Mamo Omar Rab Hokin Alav Al Khaverov Al Ben Nanas. So Rabbi Abba Bar Mamo says in the Gemara that Rabbi Abba Bar Mamo citing Rab says that the Chaverov of Benanas, the colleagues of Benanas, interestingly, Benanas, we don't know who his teachers are and we don't know who his students are. But here we have his Chaverov, that his colleagues of Benanas argue with him. And they say, we don't say Tefos Lashen Achro. So Gemara says, wait one second, my Kamashma, what is Rav even telling us this? This is an explicit Mishnah in Baba Metziah. We remember this Mishnah from Baba Metziah where it says, Ma'isa B'Tzipori. There was an incident in Tzipori, Be'echot Shesachar, a guy uh, rented out a bathhouse from his friend, and he said, the, the landlord says to the tenant, I'm giving you this bathhouse for 12 gold coins for a year. Each gold coin for one month. And then, and then what happened was it became a leap year. So there was a year, but it was 13 months. And he had said, I'm rent- giving you 12 gold coins for the year, one gold coin per month. So now what do we do about the leap year? Is it a 12 gold coins for the whole year or is it one coin for each month, which would be 13 gold coins? So the incident come bef- came before Rabbi Shimon Gamliel and before Rabbi Yosef Amru, and they said, Yachoku es Chodesh Ha'ibor, that you have to split the last month. So we see from here that they are saying in a statement where it's contradictory, you split it. And that's not, and, and obviously they're arguing with Bananas who says, Tefos Lashon Achron, we go by the last statement. So the Gemara says, no, Rav still has to teach us something. Why? Because he may ask him if it had just been from the Mishnah and Bamba Mitzia, have Amina Hasim who did Iko Memer, Mahadar Kam, Mahadar Bey, Iko Memer, Pirushi Kam, and Farish. So there, What's the reason why we split it in the case of Bamatia? Because we could say that it's possible that he's recanting by saying one coin per month, or it's possible he's explaining that when I said uh, 12 coins for the year, I meant you have to pay me at the at the end of each month. And so therefore, that's the idea of why he says one coin per month, not because he's contradicting it, but because he's explaining how it's being paid. Or it could be saying that it's a... That it's a uh, Retraction, and so therefore, since it could be one of two ways, we're going to leave it as a doubt, and they split it. But hacha, but in this case, of hacha devade Here, in this case, he's certainly uh, contradicting his statement, and you can't say he's explaining his statement. So it's possible we wouldn't say that you split it. We say go by the last of uh, hacha devade Maybe they wouldn't be arg- Maybe they wouldn't be arguing with Ben Nanas, and they would say go by the last statement. So Rav is telling us, no, they're not just arguing in that case, in the case where you can interpret it both ways and possibly as explaining the earlier statement, but even but even in the uh, 
But even in the case where he's contradicting the first statement, we go by the last statement. So that's the position of the Chavera, of the, the colleagues arguing with Benanas as interpreted by Rab. So now we have Shmuel's position. Amr Rav Yehuda, Amr Shmuel. So Rav Yehuda cites the position of Shmuel who says, Zu divrei benanas, this position that we said in, where a person who's selling something says two contradictory things, we follow the last thing. This is the position of benanas. This is the position of benanas. Hold on. But we do not follow the position. Of, uh, however, this is the position of benanas. But the Chachamim say that that the Chachamim say we don't we don't follow the last thing he says, but we follow after the statement as as Rashbam says. Also, Alashon Shemafchis Kochosholkeach, the language that diminishes the position of the purchaser, meaning saying the case where the seller is selling something to somebody and he says two contradictory things, then the purchaser gets the lesser of the two because we have a principle, the person who has wants to get money from somebody else, he has to bring the proof. And so therefore, since the seller has it in his possession and the purchaser wants it, he has less strength. And so therefore, we we, we give him the language that reduces his strength. So in a case where he said, I'm selling it exactly by the rope or more or less, we see which is going to cost the purchaser more money. And that's the way we follow. Now, this idea, I also think can give us a Musar Haskil for these days of Tshuva, these days of Yom and Norayim that we follow after the language which uh, re- reduces the power of the purchaser, but it could also mean us if we want to know how to repent. Go after the path that that is not arrogant, that that reduces our language, meaning to say that we speak, we should speak in a manner of humility. But anyway, we see from here that the position of Shmuel is not like Tfos Lashonach, or not like the position of Benanas, and not like the position of the Chavera who argue, who says that you split it, but rather he says the position is that we, the of the Chachamim is that we give the purchaser the least of the possibilities. So the Gemara says, wait, is this really the case? Zu Velosphere. So Shmuel is saying this is the position of Benanas, but, and I don't agree with him. But Rav and Shmuel seem to be saying we do follow the position of Ben Nanas. How so? Because they both said that in a statement that we had this case also earlier in our Gemara and also in Baba Metzia. We had it in Bakam Peva, but we also had it in Baba Metzia and Dafka Pez. That if a person, there's two possibilities, two scenarios that we're discussing. If a person says, Rav and Shmuel said together that if a person says, Core a person has a core, a field that's 30, 30 seya. Then, then, and he says, I'm selling it to you for 30 seya. So, and then he's giving him the money, then he can go back on his word, uh, um, basically, even at the last, even at the very end. So he's saying, since he says, I'm selling it to you for 30, until he pays him all the amount, uh, until he gives him all 30 silayim, then it's not going to be a valid sale. So even though the guy has taken 29 seya, he can go back uh, until he until he acquires the 30th. But if he says, I'm selling to a core for 30, Seya b'sela. Each seya is worth one seya. I'm selling to each seya for one seya. Then rishon rishon kana. Then we follow the last thing he says, which is seya b'sela. So each time he gives him a seya, he's acquired it. It's acquired one at a time, and that seems to be yeah, like Rav and Shmuel are holding like bananas that we follow to slash and achor, and we follow the last thing he says. So why would he say this is the position of bananas? But I don't agree with him. Ella zu v'sfirale. So it must be that Shmuel says, this is the position of Benanas that we follow the last thing he says, and I agree with him. Zuvis Firoi. So Gemara says, wait one second. 
does Shmuel really follow the position of Benanas that where he say Tefos Lashon Achron? Vahamar Shmuel, but Shmuel in discussing this Mishnah in Bamitzia, which says that in a case where he says, I'm giving you 12 gold coins, one coin for each month, and then it's a leap year, that you split it, Shmuel says, that's Bababa Emtza Achoresh Askinim. When do we say when do we say that you split it in the case of the bathhouse where he comes in the middle of the month and so basically he's used it for half the month so that's what we're talking about so he comes to the court in the middle of the month and he says the landlord says go out of my house or give me this month and so therefore therefore he's he's paid for he's he's been there in the middle of the month and so therefore under those circumstances where he comes in the middle of the month, we say, since you've, uh, uh, we, we say under those circumstances, Rashbam explains, Achim and we're unsure which expression works, the, the 12 coins for the year, or one coin for in, each month. We say, let's put the money in, in, in the status quo. And so therefore, uh, that which he's already lived there, we're not going to uh, make him pay. Uh, and so, because maybe, uh, and and so therefore, since he's so so the tenant has lived there, we're not going to make him pay because he's he's to face it. But that that which the part of the month hasn't hasn't come yet, then it's in the landlord's domain, and either pay or get out. Because uh, we say hamet karka bechaskas So we see from so we see from here, Shmuel is also not sure if the halacha is like the rabbanon who say. Put the money in its uh, 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 after the case of the mochzak. Whoever has the money gets to keep it. In the case of a doubt, or do we follow the position of Ben Nanas who says tefos lashon achron? So Shmuel is also not sure how do we rule, and so therefore he says keep the money in its place of a chazaka. So v'amar Shmuel v'baba emtza achoresh. I'm asking him v'baba tchilas achoresh. But if he would come in the beginning of the month, then kul amaskir. Then in the last month, the month of the leap year. The landlords say either pay or get out. It's all it's all the landlords. So and this sofa chodesh. But if you come at the end of the month, cool is socher. If he comes to the court at the end of the month, the tenant gets it because at that point the money's in his domain. So you see from here, Shmuel is not like the position of Ben Nana who says tefos lashon achron. He's not like the position of the chaverav who say you split it. He's like the position that whoever is muhsak, whoever has the money, gets it. So the Gemara says on the top of Kufayim Rebbeis El Olam Zo Below Sviray. So it must be that Shmuel Paskins, not like Ben Nanas. He says, this is the position of Ben Nanas that we take the last statement, but I don't agree with him. But awesome time am I. So if that's the case, why in the case of where he says the core uh, for uh, a seah for a seller, do we follow the statement, the last thing he says, and, and we don't, and we say that he acquires it at each time and not at the very end when he, when he acquires all 30 seah. So he says there, how some time am I Mishum the toughest? Because each time the guy grabs the say of the of uh, each time he's grabbing the seya. And so therefore, at that point, there at that point, since he's grabbing it each time uh um of wheat, therefore we're going to say he's acquired it. And that's why and that's why he gets to uh the sale is done at that point. And 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 Hachanami, so too in this case, in the case of the bathhouse, we're going to say he, he grabs the money. And so since he's grabbed the money at that point, uh, we're going to say they uh, they split it. And Hachanami, here in this case, Hachanami, here in this case, we're going to say that the that the person who says I'm selling you a core of wheat for thirty seya, the uh, seya besela, that is also where the purchaser has basically uh, uh, grabbed a hold of what he's acquired already, and not because of tefos and achron. And so, therefore, even if he would switch his language and say seya besela core besoshim, the law would be the same that he acquires it one at a time. So, Amr Afuna Amri Bey Rav. Istra Maya. So an Istra is 96 coins and a Maya is 100 uh, copper coins. So a person says, I'm going to sell you this object. Uh, 
for an istara, which is 96 coins. And then he says, mayamai. So then we say, mayamai. We, since we follow bananas, we say, uh, Rav Huna says the name of Rav, we follow bananas. We go by the last thing he says, which is, he said he's selling it to you for 100 coins. But if he says, mayamai istara, istara. But if he says, I'm selling it to you for 100 coins, istara, which is 96, we follow the last statement. So the Mar says, Well, my Kamash, well, what is this statement of Rafun in the name of Rab teaching us? To Fos Lashanach. Rafun is it teaching us we follow the last thing he says. Rab already told us to us once. Because Rab said, if I had been, if I had been there in the case um of the the uh, the case of the Mishnah with the with the bathhouse with the twelve gold coins and the year and then the, the one year for twelve gold coins and then one gold coin per month and then we said that he got and then it's a leap year and the and we said there he split it. Rav says if I would have been there, have a Yavina Kulamaskir, I would have given it all to the landlord because he said the last thing he says one coin for each month, meaning to Slash and Akron like like bananas, he follows the last statement. So why is he telling us here this same statement? We already know Rav says Tfos Lashon Achron. Gemara says no. Mal the theme of Pirushi come No, um, it, uh, we might have said that. You might have said that that in this case of. Why would he have given it all to the landlord in that case? Because Pirushi came and because he was just explaining himself. You might have thought that, why does he get it? Because he was explaining 12 coins for the year, one coin for each month, meaning to say he's explaining his first words. That meaning to say that I don't mean to say 12 coins even in a leap year. I'm saying in a regular year. But if it's a leap year, it's one coin for each month. But by the, by the Easter and the Maya, he, where he's certainly has recanted there maybe you would say he might have thought that that rab was saying he might have thought that you 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 uh you follow whoever is muhsak and not whoever has it last and not the last language so therefore rab says no even in that case we follow the position of bananas that the first lush and achron kamash more so that is today's daf but we could go on a little bit uh for tomorrow's daf uh this